especially when they have plenty of time on their hands. You know what? Maybe you don't have that time because you're cooking. You're getting ready for Thanksgiving this week. Well, the great thing is you can make great food and it can be healthy with our Health in a Hand Basket report today. Registered dietitian and nutritionist Emily Cope is here with some dinner recipe ideas that are diabetic friendly and colorful and they'll be great additions. People are going to want to eat these, right? Absolutely. They are so good. I'm yeah. so impressed with the American Diabetes Association. They have the Chefs for American Diabetes Month that are coming up with all these fantastic recipes. That's awesome. Everything we have here today is going to be less than 150 calories per serving. Okay. And I picked out some things that I thought would be an excellent addition to your Thanksgiving meal. Yeah, We've got that great. coming up this week, so these kind of all tie in together. Yeah, so sometimes families, like, you know, my mom and dad will say, we'll take care of the turkey, but you all bring the sides. Bring something Else. Okay, so let's get started. So uh, let's start with my favorite, our Brussels sprouts. I love I Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. Yeah. I swear they're making a comeback. Yeah. Everyone's like, I hate Brussels sprouts, no. but their parents boiled them. They weren't good. Yeah, they were mushy. They were good. Really good. Yeah. yeah. So these ones are so good. They're wok sauté Brussels sprouts. They're sautéed with fresh cilantro and soy sauce, and mm. the flavor is just incredible. You have me at Brussels, so I'm going to try <laughs> these. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. So there's like a little sweetness to it. A little sweetness to it, yep. Mm-hmm. Sauteing them in the wok really kind of caramelizes and brings out that flavor. It's a fantastic way to cook I never met a Brussels them. sprout I didn't love. <laughs> this is great. This is excellent. So this is a fantastic dish to bring along to Thanksgiving if you're okay. looking for something. Okay. Next we have our mojito sweet potato mash. Stop it. Mojito? Yes, mojito. So the Ow. nice thing, everything here is made with fresh herbs spices it's really showing you how you can cook without the added salt without the added butter but still get in all that flavor yeah so these sweet potatoes you boil two large sweet potatoes skin them and you mash them up with fresh mint and fresh lime juice mm -hmm. and the flavor is so fresh and refreshing it's it's something you wouldn't think to put together naturally this is so good isn't it oh my gosh the mint and the lime it's a whole new flavor an unexpected uh, flavor combination Absolutely. Excellent. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Super high in vitamin C, fiber, so good for you. Add it to your Thanksgiving dish and you've got a healthier meal. And this is better than just like plain mashed potatoes. It is. Okay. And you know, I've got this plate here set up to show you that, you know, for Thanksgiving you can still enjoy the things that you love, the mashed potatoes, everything else. But if you kind of try and focus on half plate veggies, you kind of really, you know, balance out that meal, still get that good stuff in right. while enjoying all the good flavors as okay. well. And then the last is, uh, last. Is, is that kale? It is kale. Okay, kale yes. is another hot vegetable. Hot vegetable, and everyone's always talking about kale, you know, throwing in their smoothies, mm -hmm. all sorts of stuff. This kale is fantastic. It's made with fresh squeezed grapefruit juice, which I have right there. So easy to squeeze your own grapefruit juice. So if you get one of these little squeezers right here, yeah. you just mix it in, you saute this with shallots, and it has a really strong good flavor wow no butter no salt all the flavors of natural spices and this herbs. is bursting with flavor it's delicious mm, so good so okay i'm really like impressed it. thank you i would have never again grapefruit juice grapefruit this juice is on the diabetes website yep everything's on the diabetes website they have a ton of recipes really trying to promote american diabetes month so you can really do your plate up with a lot of vegetables and, and mitigate some of the damage you might do by having a ton of ton of stuffing you can still have stuffing right absolutely and especially if you take a look at this plate here there's still room on that plate while it's still filled with veggies it's filled with the sweet potatoes there's room for your turkey there's room for your mashed potatoes and your stuffing just make those portions a little bit smaller and then you can go and enjoy Enjoy your dessert afterwards. Hey, I like Emily because she thinks about dessert. <laughs> She's do. not trying to cut dessert out. She's saying, Absolutely not. Eat in moderation at dinner so you can enjoy the dessert. The great thing is the weather's going to be really nice for Thanksgiving, so you can go out for a walk ahead of time. Emily, thank so you. So smart. That's perfect. Excellent. And uh, weather, traffic, local headlines coming up next.